Hey guys, today I'm going to pick one card that I believe will go up in price. And yes, this is my speculation on the card. Now I have done this in the past and it's very difficult. 95% of the cards pre-order will go down in price. So I looked at all the cards and there's one that really stands out to me as a as something that is underpriced at the moment and very underpriced long term. I think this card is going to see a lot of play in ED8s and possibly 5, 10 years from now, there might be a modern deck that wants it. And it, it fits all the criteria that I like in a speculation. It is a land. It does not come in play tapped. It produces colorless mana when it comes out, which actually is not a, it used to be a bane, right? People used to be like, oh, colorless mana, what are you going to do with that? Well, colorless is for the Adrazi more important actually than colored mana. So I'm talking about Cable Stronghold. And we're seeing some of these prices. I want to show you some of these prices today on Star City Games because. I want to show you the price difference. So the website I'm showing right showing right now is StarCityGames.com because it has it's a very good lesson in terms of how much things cost. The majority of the cards that you see today from the first half will plummet in price. It will hold price for about a week or two. Pre-release will come and go. Release will come and go. And then a month later, they will just plummet when re people realize the majority of them are not even standard playable, and none of them are modern playable. And a few of them are EDH playable. Now, the, the lands, lands are lands. They always fit like a different category, so take that with a grain of salt. You guys know I like lands a lot. When I saw this card come out, I was a little skeptical of it because... It does remind me of another card, Cable Coffers, which is $25 right now. And that card is very old. It's an uncommon from Torment. Not much of Torment is was opened, especially compared to today. So this is Star City Games. Uh, you can order pretty much as many copies as you want for $4.99. On eBay, it's a little cheaper. Uh, it is about free twenty five or twelve ninety nine for a playset is the cheapest I've seen it at, which comes to what's twelve ninety nine playset three dollars and thirty three cents right. Star City Games pre order will always be kind of the more the most pricey. I think this is very very much undervalued, um, and my logic comes from cable coffers. So play, having played Magic for so long. I know one of the weaknesses of Cable Coffers was that it didn't do anything. Like, it was in, uh, Torment was a, a set where you had to play the Black Mana, you had the Tainted Peaks, you had all the things producing Black Mana, but Cable Coffers came into play and sometimes it was a dead card. Because it didn't produce mana unless you paid two to produce the Black Mana. Here, I... It's interesting because it says basic swamp. That's not something I want to see. So it's not cable coffers in terms of power level. But I can see this going in every single deck that cable coffers is going to go in, which is a mono black deck. And I think the added benefit, um, so when I played, it was half the time it's a dead card, especially early game. And when I mean modern playable, I see this just as a colorless land with bonus. If Aldrazi ever gets like wanting to play black, a mono black Aldrazi deck, I don't know what's coming out in the future, and you guys don't know, but I could see this being slotted in that deck and being one of the best cards. Not coming into play tapped, super relevant. Super relevant. I know in EDH you're doing all this fun stuff, but missing a land drop just it's one of the things that um, when I look at cable coffers, sometimes it's a dead card. Other times it's just gonna blow your opponent away. Here we have something kind of in the middle, but if we're comparing it to cable coffers at $25 uncommon, 
then I like it at five or three dollars. I think it's going to go far. I think this card is going to be valuable long term and it's going to be valuable short term. It's short term, and I think foil copies will be where you want to be at. Uh, but regular copies will also be good. I don't see it as a playset necessarily, but the deck one day will come. So when I look at the mechanics, Cable Coffers wasn't a $25 card. It was like a dollar card when I was playing. And it wasn't even that good most times. Because you were playing the Tainted Peaks and the other Tainted Isles and all these Tainted stuff that didn't really generate, uh, that help generate this. Because... Yeah, everyone had mono black decks, but they had a splash of different colors for the... Um, Torment was a very interesting set. It was a mono black set, except you needed a splash for other colors as well. Capo Coffers wasn't always a great card. This card solves the issue I have with Capo Coffers, where you miss a land drop, essentially, and to invest in future. Or if this comes later, that's really good, but if this is in your hand to begin with, it's kind of a dead card for at least a few turns. Now for the new card, the colorless, that's really, really going to help. The manor has always been, it's got a lot better from when we used to play. And there's more of these uh, dual land types. So this is my speculation. $3 or even at four ninety nine in Star City Games, I think it's going to hit 10 It does remind me a little bit of Urbog. Now Urbog was a reprint, so we knew what we were getting. Urgbog, by the way, has gone up in price to where it used to be before the reprint. That was an easy, easy speculation. This one is not. Um, this one, I think it does need to find a modern home, and I think it will. Now, if it came in play tapped, I, it would be it, it would not be good. But having the... Uh, so if you view this as an Aldrazi land with the additional benefit of producing massive amounts of black mana later in the game, then it's interesting, right? I do believe that we will see a deck that really wants this card, that this wants this land. So the one, the one land I think about, and this comes out because the five color human deck uses it, is that tribal land and it comes in ancient zygote and it comes in play you name a tribe and then or you can comes in play you can only you you can produce mana of any color but you can only use it to play creatures and for a long time people thought this was a silly card that no one would ever use it and then long comes a a deck with all creatures pretty much five color humans and it became a $10 card overnight from about $2. That was where I see this. I see this at maybe $2 or $3 right now pre-order. Even $5 pre-order I think is okay. And then one day something happens and it becomes $10 overnight and you double your money. So I like this card. This is a card I will... This is a card that when I look at it, it checks every single box in my mind. Is it does is it a land? Yes. Does it come in play untapped? Yes. Does it have additional benefits which are based on another very strong card? Yes. Can it fit a deck as a four of? If the right circumstances surround it? Yes. So I like it. Anyway, leave me a comment below if you agree or disagree. Bye guys.